Brief Discussion on Holographic Management in the Second Home by Shui Feng. The second home is designed to create a new lifestyle for all humanity, aiming to achieve harmony among people, society, and nature, fostering a global family living in peace without wars, conflicts, religious or political disputes, marriage-induced troubles, or widespread crimes. Achieving this vision crucially involves implementing holographic management globally. Uh, the essence of holographic management is non-management, which means minimizing human intervention and instead letting the Tao or the natural laws govern. In a holographic universe, every change affects the whole. No event or phenomenon is isolated. For instance, one person's anger can ripple through their family, community, and eventually the entire world, illustrating the butterfly effect where any event can impact all of humanity. Therefore, to ensure global happiness, uh, we must adopt holographic management, minimizing human-made controls and maximizing adherence to natural laws. The second home of Life Chanyuan is an experimental ground for this management model. If successful here, it could be extended globally, leading to worldwide holographic management. Holographic management entails eight core principles. One, alignment with the Tao. Acting according to the will of the greatest creator, all actions should comply with natural laws and scientific principles, reducing human interference to the minimum. Two, Minimizing rules and regulations by encouraging the intrinsic qualities of truth, kindness, beauty, love, faith, and sincerity, we allow the innate Buddha nature to flourish, letting things evolve naturally. Three, eradicating the roots of private ownership by dissolving the concept of marriage and family, we foster a global family lifestyle without political parties or national borders, sharing resources and merging cultures. Four, fostering creators. Every community member should contribute to creating spiritual, mental, or material wealth with a significant reduction in administrative roles. Five, service over management, transforming all managers into public servants without special privileges or treatment. Six, contributing as able and taking as needed, advocating simplicity, voluntary actions without administrative orders, and prohibiting the imposition of personal will on others. Seven, harmonizing individuality and collectivity, allowing personal expression without contradiction to the collective good, maintaining macro unity while respecting micro individuality. Eight, putting people at the center, not focusing on any ideology, economic benefit, or moral high ground, but ensuring individuals enjoy life's journey from childhood to old age without the burden of unattainable goals. Implementing holographic management requires initial spiritual purification, as without this foundational work, the concept remains a mirage. Based on over three years of practice in the second home, holographic management is not a utopian dream, but a viable reality. With society's understanding, support, and patience, humanity's greatest ideals can be realized. Humanity's future lies in holographic management. Without it, there is no path forward. 2013-121.